Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. We are halfway through another week at home, but we're getting closer and closer to getting to be together again, and I can't wait to see you all. Who remembers what we're talking about this week? That's right, we're talking about healthy bodies. And I have another story today to help us learn a little bit about how to stay healthy. This book is called Eating the Alphabet by Lois Ellert. It's gonna tell us about some healthy foods that we can eat to keep our bodies fueled and happy. Eating the Alphabet. A is for apricots, artichokes, avocados, apples, and asparagus. How many of you have tried all of those foods? B is for beans, beets, blueberries, Brussels sprouts, broccoli and bananas. All healthy foods. C is for currants, corn, celery, cucumbers, carrots, cherries, cauliflower, and cabbage. Cherries are my favorite kind of fruit. D is for date, E is for endive, and eggplant. F is for fig. G is for gooseberries, grapefruit, and grapes. H is for huckleberry. I is for Indian corn, J is for jalapeno and jicama, K is for kumquat, kiwi, and kohlrabi. That's a new one. L is for leek, lemon, lettuce, and lime. M is for melon and mango. N is for nectarine. O is for orange, onion, and okra. is for peaches, pears, and pineapples, papayas, persimmons, pomegranates, and plums. Lots of pea fruits. Ooh, here's more. P is for parsnips, potatoes, peas, peppers, and pumpkins. Q is for quince, R is for raspberries, radishes, and rutabaga, rhubarb, and radicchio. S is for Swiss chard, spinach, star fruit, and strawberries. T is for turnips, tomatoes, and tangerines. U is for ugly fruit. V is for vegetable marrow. W is for watermelons and watercress. X 
X is for Zigal, Y is for Yam, and Z is for Zucchini. We just saw so many healthy fruits and vegetables. Did you find a new one you might want to try? If you try a new fruit or vegetable, you let me know how it is. I'll see you tomorrow for another story time. Bye, friends.